Greetings, one and all. We've got the Yakupov Blues here, folks. The first pick of the 2012 draft, Neil Yakupov, has been traded by the Edmonton Oilers to the St. Louis Blues for prospect Zach Pericho, or Pericero, and a conditional third round pick for the 2017 draft, which could turn into a second round pick of the 2018 draft if Neil Yakupov scores 15 goals this season. So, the uh, first pick of the 2012 draft has gone. One of Edmonton's many first round picks, first overall picks in these recent years, has been shipped off. Now, Yakupov had 50 goals and 61 assists to make 111 points in 252 games with the Edmonton Oilers, which is pretty decent, but he never really lived up to the first overall pick hype that he had since joining the league in 2012. I mean, there's a lot of hype around a first overall pick they're expected to get. They're expected to basically have a 60-point season in their first year, which is, which is pretty crazy, but I mean... 111 points in 252 games, that's almost a point every two games, which I don't think is too bad. However, some people may disagree. Um, and now he had eight goals and 15 assists in 60 games last season. So, uh, the Edmonton Oilers, who have been known as a strong group of young, offensive-minded players with the struggles on the defense, they decided to get rid of Yakupov because they felt that he's maybe not really earning his contract, which I think is fair enough. But... What they got in return, I'm not really too fond of. I, I think the St. Louis Blues may have come out stronger on this one. So, uh, Zach Pericero, uh, Pachiro, it's probably Pachiro, isn't it? Pachiro, yeah, Pachiro. He was the 112th pick by the St. Louis Blues in 2013. He has not played an NHL game, I should add, but the 22-year-old had 9 goals and 17 assists to make 26 points in 44 games for Quad City of the ECHL last season. So... He hasn't played a game in the NHL yet. He's 22 years old. He must be roughly the same age as Yakupov. He was only drafted a year after Yakupov in the fourth round, uh, Pachiro was. However, he hasn't seen an NHL game yet, and he averaged a point every two games in the ECHL. So there might not be any luck for him in the NHL. I mean, he's not exactly getting any younger. He might take a few more years before he makes to, it makes it to the NHL, but who knows. Now, on the surface of this trade, the Blues won this trade without a doubt, I think. Um, but it seems Edmonton were looking to gain some cap space uh, to sign Chris Russell, who they signed to just over a $3 million contract for a year. Uh, the notorious shot blocker of the league, uh, one of the top shot blockers these last few years, has been signed by the Oilers. Uh, to a just, I think it's just over. I think it might be 3.15 million, 3.25 million dollars for a year. So the the main incentive for this was they were trying to get rid of Yakupov because he wasn't really producing as much as he should have done, and they were getting rid of him in order to get some cap space in order to sign Chris Russell to make their defensive core somewhat better. So I mean. Part of me thinks, yeah, that's a really smart move by the Oilers, but they could have got so much more for Yakupov, I think. The St. Louis Blues must have been really stingy to get a deal like that, which has worked out in their favour. They've got a guy that can play in the top six. Um, so, yeah, that, that's my big question, I think, about Neil Yakupov. Will he be the guy that replaces David Backus in the top six for the St. Louis Blues? I mean, Yakupov doesn't play centre, but they've got a couple of those wingers that can play centre. So, will they be shifted over to the centre position while Yakupov gets stuck on the wing? I could see Yakupov playing on the second line, maybe, of the St. Louis Blues. They're not expecting him to heat up immediately. I mean, preferably, they might like it if they, he doesn't score 15 goals this season, because then they keep their second round pick for two, from two years into the draft. And they only have to give up a third for this year. So that could be interesting. But yeah, I think that's the big question. Do the St. Louis Blues have their guy to replace David Backus in the top six? How will Yakupov fit in with the St. Louis Blues system? Uh, they did an interview with him and, they, and he said that they were always a tough team to play against. And they, they always um, gave it their all. They were all a big, strong group of forwards. So that will be interesting. And will Pachiro see any NHL time this season? I think, sure, the Oilers are getting a, a, a conditional third-round pick, maybe a second-round pick in a year's time in the draft, but they're getting a 22-year-old that has not seen any NHL time. So they they kind of lost out in that respect. But, I mean, if that second-round pick turns out to be a player that's better for Yakupov in the Edmonton system, I mean, who knows? Maybe that will turn out to be a huge gain. But I think on the surface of this trade, the St. Louis Blues won this this deal without a doubt. But yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to let me know what you think about the trade in the comments below. But please feel free to like, subscribe, share, watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.